Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, second round match. The first second round match played between Alma and Singolo on New Year's Eve. That's crazy dedication, isn't it? Unbelievable. Um, we've got Dark Elves with loads of blotch step up against um, Nurgle with one tackle bomber, and that's the only tackle on the team. So yeah, this will be, you know, awful for Singolo. Down nine tackle where he normally is. <laughs> so there you go. Um, will he be able to handle? Certainly getting blitzed on is uh, is not conducive to being able to handle <laughs> elves with one tackle. But you know, if the tackle pop, claw pom pops off, then it's uh, good, isn't it? Inducement wise, we've only got a babe for the Dells. Oh wow, going for the greedy three pluses through. We'll try the two as well, yeah. And the GFI, the tag, lovely. And fails the second one through. But yep, that's a lot. This is a lot of trouble for Singolo instantly. I mean, he obviously he can blitz this guy. Um, but, like, what does he do afterwards? Like, throw it to somebody? Like, tries to make a cage and throws it to somebody? It's horrendous. <laughs> it's fair enough, Pedro. <laughs> Me too, to be honest. It just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same. You know, it, it wasn't as bad as Among Us without Dimmy G, but it was... It wasn't right. There we go. Pylon, obviously. Come on, no! Don't! <laughs> Don't pile on. <laughs> I might be a bit of a uh, a bit of a risky pile on there. But hey, who's to say if it was wrong or wrong? <laughs> oh god, there's not even a screen here. I mean, it hasn't really worked, Big Chi Chi. He's about to be 1 0 down. <laughs> I mean, he's not instantly lost, but it's. Um, it's He's in a real pickle, isn't he? He's in a real pickle. That having a player stood there would have really helped, you know, be less of a pickle. Wow. A blockless block. Not sure I'd have gone with a blockless block. Like, obviously he wanted the Witch Elf for the Blitz with with Frenzy. But, and I guess it was a Frenzy trap, wasn't it? But it didn't have to be, right? He could have moved this one down to here and then Blitz down. But the extra, the extra hit. <laughs> Me to fail the GFI. <laughs> So yep, Singolo looking like a genius now as he's got away with this pile on. Can still blitz with him. Because uh, the body wasn't marked. Probably should have come through with this guy, right? This guy could have based him. Or somebody could have come through and based him. Just in case this failed. Or or in case it worked as well, like just I would have liked him tagged. He's gonna he's gonna blitz somebody, right? Wow, doesn't re-roll the hit. So he has to dodge. Yeah. No. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So he's going to GFI with this Nurgle Warrior. I think he probably should GFI there. I think he should definitely GFI there. Because there's a guard right here. <laughs> there's a guard literally right here. He had to make that GFI. He had to do the GFI. He had to. That's ridiculously bad not making that GFI. Like, he, he literally had to, didn't he? He had to do the GFI. Dirty 1D. 
Or well, Kaz, <laughs> Norwegian. <laughs> oh, what a dice lord. And then he can uh, two into one. Just needs the two. Try the four plus pick up. We'll stand this guy up first. Personally. Because, like, you might as well, right? Like, okay, I'm, dodg oh, I'm dodging there, I guess that 2D. But I don't know. I think it's fine where he is. Don't say it's over! <laughs> but, um, it's certainly not looking good. You know, the claw pump can still kick off and, uh,. And you know, just like there's a lot of hits here with Mighty Blow, but it's uh, certainly not looking good for Single. Wall. And hello, Render, hello, D2D. And no way, Jose, it is indeed glorious casts, yep. Correct. Oof. Claw Palm not killing everything. What is this? It's a pretty weak basing there, isn't it? It's just forcing one in 36. And okay, it means he's got to come back around the forward, but I wonder if there was a better square for this Nurgle Warrior. Oof, a dodgeless dodge. Definitely, I definitely prefer this guy like one down, because now he can punch him and uh, get the beast on two, can't he? Thanks very much, D2D. <laughs> it was, it was a fun game, wasn't it? To be fair, I guess I can't believe, I can't believe the result still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a great line, wasn't it? Oh. That's, uh, that was a bit rowdy. I sing Golo. I would have much preferred to do this punch and get the beast on two people first. But hey. Also, I'd have just punched him off. Like, I much prefer punching him off. Because you've got that guy down, so that in that assist, you can punch down there, and that gets you away from the beast, doesn't it? Um, because you've stranded him with that other guy tagging him to cancel the assist. So, a bit of a strange dodge out there, but never mind. Um, Armour just bangs it in there. And I quite like the score on this turn because Nurgle with four turns are in a way more likely to get turnover and scored on almost than they are to score themselves. This is a pretty nice, pretty nice turn four score. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, pro tip Singolo, don't get blitzed on twice in the same half. <laughs> it's really bad to roll tens there. Don't don't do that. Poor player. Poor play getting blitzes rolled against you twice in the same half. In the same match is bad enough, but even in the same half is even worse. Well, 
Well, this is very, very big danger of the 2 mil now, isn't it? Really nice. You can catch it on the uh, witch. And screen. <laughs> Screener from the killer. Oh, God. Oh, it's outrageous, isn't it? That's fucking outrageous. Doesn't get the pow. Dump <laughs> In the stun as well! <laughs> I mean, you could have done some safe moves first, right? Got the, got the, you know, based everyone up and stuff and whatever. But I guess he wanted to see what happened, you know, with the bounce and everything and have players to react to it. So it's totally fair to just do it first. Just try and power the bludger, but um, wow, 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 wow. I mean, nobody tell Elliot, <laughs> but, but it might be over. <laughs> it gets to go for the uh, DP, lovely. Just thinking about protecting his team for the next round now. What a luxury to have. Oh, double one. Wouldn't have done that. Dark Elf LOS not dying yet. <laughs> Singolo gone to the gym school of rolling, rolling dice here. Absolutely diabolical. Can claw pom the guarder? No. Nope. Oh, it gets follow up hits, but. Low quality player and unlikely to achieve anything with follow up hits. So I think going for the uh, guard was better. Personally, also beast could have come in here. They could have pushed, pushed him in here, to stick him on the beast. For what it's worth, not a lot. Maybe nothing. Not a lot you can do here. Is there is a single? Has. This time regen. Getting outbashed by the Dells is just like he's been outbashed and he's been blitzed on twice. <laughs> God. <laughs> is this a Dyson? Yes, it is, is the answer. <laughs> Approaching comedy mega levels of dicing. Oh, Zach is so cool, thanks. <laughs> No, sick, we can't. It's not over till the fat lady sings, you know. Even if a football team is 3 0 up with one minute left, it's not over. The other team could still score four. Don't say it's over. People always say it's over, it's not over. <laughs> God agreed that. Ho oh, ho, and it's a Kaz. Does the apple come out? For just a dodger? No, it does not. It's not a perm. I'd 
have rather seen again, seen him blitz the uh, guard here, but hey. Stole another turn. Oh, he hasn't got piling on either. I literally, I literally saw the jump up and thought that I've, I've been watching this whole game thinking this Blitzer had piling on and just wasn't able to pile on, and that's why he's going for the dirty players. Not only because, like you know, you want to get rid of dirty players because if once he gets rid of them, he'll be able to pile on. <laughs> well, that was not the case. Just he's just taken jump up in anticipation of. of of uh, piling on, I guess. I mean, you know, jump up's a, a good skill to have, it's just not a good skill to spend a slot on, isn't it, is the problem. The opportunity cost. A tick, jump up, is what's wrong with it. Gets the knockdown. Big foul, obviously he's got to try and get in the game any way he can. And this is a really good player to foul. So even I would make this foul. Fend, Dauntless, DT, Pro. Oh. So the, so the apple comes in there on the death. And it works. I mean, that was a really huge play, wasn't it? Bludge card. We go for this mighty blow guard. Oh, really nice player to bang out if he can. Obviously, much more likely to bang out the rotter with no regen and armor raid. And no foul appearance, but instead just rolls like a god. Oh no, it gets the regen though. So there you go. I mean it's obviously it's much much higher quality player to go for. Can't blame him going for the higher quality player, but um you know, it was much more likely to just remove somebody. And I feel like, you know, as elves, it's kinda of better just going for the quality. Uh, going for the quantity. Because, you know, if you, if your opponent's down men against you. They're just in so much trouble. Whereas if it was like, you know, if it was a a guard war, you know, between orcs and Nurgle or whatever, t get taking out a guard, a, a strength four guard, has you know got a lot more value than taking out a strength three fella. Um, I think, but I think in this case it was definitely better just to go for numbers. But hey, time for the Nurgle offense. Oh no, no, they're losing two now. Oh, that one was AV bust, was it? Oh, that one's AV bust. Well, there you go. So it's a lot closer then. So it's now it's just regen and foul appearance. So I mean, I'd still just go for the more chance of numbers. Like I'd usually go for more chance of numbers anyway. But in a game we've already won, like you know, also there's there's like this there's, there's each one of like five mighty blow players anyway. So it's not it's not that. Exciting to remove him for preventing attrition. If he was the one mighty blow player, then yes, absolutely go for it, stuff like that. Oh, nearly catches the kick off. Just going for the two just going for the uh the quick score to bang it in, make it 3-0. Interesting. I guess maybe make it 4-0 as well, eh? This one's on 25, so yeah, by going for the quick score, you have the chance of making it uh Thor could have dackered and got three completions. Personally, I would have dackered and gone for three completions and a touchdown. But there is certainly the chance that Singolo's spirit is broken and he's not going to play very well. So, you know, you can get that. But it's still going to be hard to like turn over and stuff, isn't it, if, after it goes to 3-0. So, 
I do quite like the uh, Daka for three completions. And a Tuddy. Our own Oalius. The, the Dells are not dying. The Dells are killing the Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgle are down three players. Dells are down one. Unbelievable, Jeff. So they've got still full 11 on the field. Uh, Dells? Yep. Dells still have 11 on the field, and the Nurgle only have 10. Unbelievable. Outbashed by Dells. The Elf, the. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, reroll? No. Diced. Diced again. Never in history has Singolo made so many blitzes without removing somebody. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Python's prologue. Oh, he's not stood somebody next to the beast. Not like that. Hello, Fluxstreamer. Streamer. Happy New Year, I guess that is. <laughs> Happy New Year to you too. Yes, not enough dwarfing, especially for Singolo, right? He's like normally loves loves maximum dwarf. This is a pretty easy 1D. It's got weight no. Oh, okay, so he's doing the 2D there. And he was hunting for a pow. He could have just 1D'd for a push. This is the thing, look, look how not easy a 2 turn is. You know? People are just like, oh, just bang it in in 2. And it's not that easy. And this is versus Singolo 2 0 down. You know. The plan was to just roll a power on that blitz, and then he would just 2 plus through here. This is Singolo not giving a shit, because he's already lost his 2 0 down. And he still put in a defense that stopped a 2 turn. So there you go. Another, another plus point for the, uh, for the Daka. Oh god. No, I didn't like I didn't like it, it was just fishing for a power. If you're gonna do that, I think you're better off just doing the one D on the uh Pestagoran. No, three plus isn't it with a reroll? Decent chances. Playoff Pom Fowler. <laughs> Playoff Sacrificial LOS. Fire nice. It's now finally on a turn 10. Singolo is able to use his guard to protect the ball. matter because a 1D cracks it anyway. Oof. Oof. Puts in the, I think the reroll there is good, right, with four rerolls. With three rerolls, a lot of people would reroll it, but um, with four I think everyone has to. No idea of again to... Hasn't punched a lot of uh, Nova Warriors to be fair. Much more impactful the fact he's rolled two blitzes. <laughs> oh. 
Oof. Well, this is almost a cage, isn't it? <laughs> this is almost a cage from Zingola. Oh, God. Another one in nine. Defending the ball Bit of a Thomas T sidestep here easy. into a 2D from Mighty Blow. Gets powered. Not a problem. Ball carry assisting a 1D. But I mean, he's up shit creek, isn't he? That's a completely, completely reasonable play at this point. There's nothing that isn't reasonable for a uh, Singolo here. So again, a 1D instead of the 2. Oh no, he can just dodge. But then how's he going to hit the ball? What? I mean, I think if you're just going to dodge away, then, uh, then don't you just blitz with this wrestle guy? Weird. Really weird from Alma. Does absolutely nothing. At this stage, 2 0 down with five turns left. He thinks piling on is a bit too much. Which obviously it is, but I'm still surprised. <laughs> still surprised. Oh, God. Got a potato now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI. Oh, maybe he doesn't need the GFI. Maybe he needs one GFI this turn. No, he's got no rerolls left anyway, so might as well. Oh, he's gonna. You can hand off. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Well, it works, so it was correct. No, I'm really not sure about that, but hey. I mean, just going one, two, three, four, five, six, and then double G flying with the ball. And then, because, like, he wasn't going to get in scoring range this turn, so. That's what I mean, yeah, exactly. Now it's just leave them out. That's why I would have uh, That's why I would have piled on there, genuinely, because, like, the game's over. And, but, you know, it was admirable that Singolo still tried. So he piles the sidestepper here, or even just fills all in all the squares, and he can hit the ball. He can literally fill in all the squares, can't he? Yep, he can fill, well, he can fill in these three, and then either he sidesteps or he uh, chains them into another hit. Oh, he only needs these two, yeah. He only needs these two. No, he needed three, because he could have sidestepped to there. So I would have put another guy in there, but never mind. This way he gets to activate the beast. I mean, this is still needing a lot to uh, have a chance. Like a blitz and a one turn and stuff. Basically impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's fair, Pedro. It was over pretty early. Like, certainly the second blitz is... Forget about it. Oh my god, the claw bomb is removed. And then this witch elf can... 
can I get up and score on turn 16? Perfect. And get a touchdown away. I think this would have been a really nice time to Daka though. I think a Daka would have got this switch off level. Relatively painlessly. But I mean, it's been painless so far. <laughs> the Blood Bowl resilience of a pigeon. I mean, I think that's about the right, correct amount of Blood Bowl resilience to have, to be honest. I've never seen a pigeon playing Blood Bowl, so there you go. Two blitzers, uh, Van McGod. Yeah, so two blitzers for the Delves. So pretty much a comedy mega dicing. Also a 1D into Casino regen. So. screen a little bit. Oh. Making two plus off to tag the water. Oh, this guy. I think it's better to tag the rotter, isn't it? Then you've got a screen. You've got a screen versus everyone else and all all you've tagged the rotter. I guess he's got two deep. I mean, it's, it's over now anyway, so single or shouldn't care really about hitting the ball. Oh, not that impregnable. Witch Elf killed turn 15. Classic Blood Bowl. <laughs> Not how I would have stole it, no. I mean, it's it's always like going to be dangerous, right? Apple's gone. Punch of mighty blows. No reason for Singol to really try to score anything, so there was always a chance for this kind of odd, odd Randall cars. Nothing you can do about it. It's, it's hard because if you lie down they foul you and if you stand up they blitz you it's like you know it's I wouldn't be too critical of anything yeah I mean I would have I would have Daka I think Daka was the correct play but he's won 3 nil. And, uh, you know, before the match, you would take just Witch Elf getting killed. So, you know, not terrible. Let's miss next. Let's miss next. And that's dead. But just, just block step. Like, it's not, not a massive loss, is it? A two skill Witch. And that's going to be very, very influential. No, <laughs> another cast. Just too late, too little, too late for Singolo. If these, if these, all these three cars had happened 
you know, in the first half, maybe it would have been more interesting, but... So, you know, it's a dice game. Indeed, JLA, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Hello. Oh, and then a KO. Yeah. So he's basically made all the removals in the last two turns when it was completely irrelevant. Imagine if they'd been the first two turns. Completely different game. I think that's the thing about Blood Bowl, right? Like, the, the removals are just too random, you know? Like, like they're super random, the removals. And if they come late, they do nothing. And if they come early, they, they completely kill the game. Um, but there you go. Uh, easy win. And he didn't make that many armor breaks, but... Uh, Got on broken a lot, but again the removals came at the end, and his removals came early, so that's that was a bit. And obviously the double, the double blitz, huge impact. Um, congratulations to Alma, commiserations to Singolo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.